Okay, so I've got this new phone camera that I'm going to have to get used to, guys. So, <clears throat> yeah, my other, I call it my no phone because it's an old phone that I was using that wasn't, didn't have a contract. So, we got this one. It's like a, one of those $30 phones. And it's with a system that whenever I get ready to travel, I can... Uh, I think it's pay-as-you-go type thing. Anyway, so I'm going to have to get used to this. Plus, at the same time, uh, the our local, we have a local internet provider. It's the only one that will provide out here. <laughs> we don't have anyone else. No options. But they are a small company and they are local. They had some uh, tower problems. So my internet has been kaput for the last couple days. So that's why you haven't heard from me. Nothing's wrong with me. However, I kind of look like, ah, eh, because I've been out... Um, working on clearing the forest. I'm down to the cr to the. We have a seasonal stream, little creek thing. So <clears throat> I've been clearing that out so that we can dredge it, kind of let it flow. And so that's been yeah, it's tiring, but it's uh, a lot of fun because I'm out in nature all day. So that's what I've been doing. And uh, anyway, I was talking to peepers the other day. And I got to thinking, I got this realization of why some things are an issue here. In that, and now let's think of remembering who you are as being a hundred percent, okay? And then not knowing who you are being one percent. Total amnesia, one percent. No amnesia, one hundred percent. One percent, hundred percent. Okay, so you can't jump frequencies or vibrations you can't jump you've got to go through them through them through them through them through them like this through 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 now you can go through from say one percent to hundred percent super fast or when you're on the other side you can go up and down really really fast but you do have to go through them and the lower frequencies down around that one percent which is uh low just think low 3d uh it's a lot slower because it's in time space, a lot slug it, more sluggish. Um, it just looks different in the now than, say, the 100%. Okay? So what has happened is, like, uh, hundreds of years ago, there were, like, monks that uh, pulled themselves away from society. I think they still have these groups that end up on a, a hilltop somewhere and... Um, chant and da, 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 and they do that for years now for a long time it took decades a lifetime to get from say zero percent to let's say enlightenment let's say they got to ninety percent so one percent to ninety percent used to take a lifetime to do but they had to start at the one percent and move up towards the ninety percent and they did this by removing themselves um, focusing, meditative practices, chanting, all of that stuff. And it slowly, slowly, slowly raised them to 90 plus percent. Okay? Now, as Gaia decided to move back to 5D, then she started the gradual process of coming out of the low 3D, raising her vibration slash frequency through the 3D, 4D realm into 5D. Which, as y'all know, depending upon the timelines that you're at in the moment, if you're listening to me, she ranges from about 80 to 90 percent, sometimes 75 percent, uh, towards that 100 percent moment in time. Now she's kind of slowing down in 5D, so she's going to hang out in in the 5D area, uh, five, six, seven. There's a lot more. A leeway uh, with beings coming from 670 or outside of time space coming inside time space and being on 5d earth a lot more leeway than there is say in 3d especially lower 3d now uh, back with the first wave that came in which was you know when Gaia made her big call and of course there have been great great leaders that you know about all the Jesus's uh, Krishna, uh, Mother Teresa, uh, Gandhi. Anyway, there's a whole bunch of different teachers, that some you know about, some you don't know about, that have come in that have taught people how to go 
from 1% to 90% very quickly. And they've given suggestions. Now, uh, especially in going down to three, the lower, uh, lower 3D, a lot of these great teachings, uh, a lot of them in the East, have been subverted or the people have been controlled the ideas have been kind of tweaked and twisted to some degree or another so in the lower 3d the uh the ones that were closer to say the 90 the 100 percent they were kind of they were like uh, okay, now we're going to use percentage again, but take them out of this. Now, the ones that had better truths on how to get from 1% to 100%, theirs was kind of left alone because they were so old and there was so much on, like, the Taoists and Buddhists and Hindus and a lot of other groups that you may know about or don't know about, and the originals, um, then they pretty much took a lot of those, uh, also the earth religions, uh, Wiccan and Celtic, well, a lot of those that are very similar to, say, Native American uh, Indians here in the United States. But a lot of those ones that were closer, that had better data to get up higher, they took about 10% and kind of tweaked them. A lot of Native Americans uh, were subverted by the Christian religion. Uh, the Christian religion stepped in and did that to a lot of the uh, nature, natural, nature, earth belief systems, um, and so they took those and kind of tweaked them and kind of messed them up. In other words, so their their the things that they taught were very very accurate, and the ones that were old and had been around for a long time, they tried to uh, get rid of those altogether. Or uh, they did a lot of killing of, you know, like killed all the witches and uh, Celtic belief systems. And, you know, it made Wiccan into witchcraft. So they would say that, you know, like the Christians came in and they would say, okay, this witch is horrible. They're demon worship. And a lot of the Wiccans in a that a lot of people know about were great healers because they were they were in tune with the earth, nature. So they would use things like, um, what's what's some names? You know, Dragon's Breath, uh, Eye of Newt, all of those weird, weird things. And those were actually different kinds of herbs that they would put in boiling water and make a tea out of. And those things with their weird names and such were... People got to thinking that the eye of Newt was actually a Newt's eye, or uh, dragon's breath. What dragon was a demon? So they twisted that. And a lot of the uh, celebratory days, the Christians took over, and so because they could get people not to follow these these celebratory days that they had been doing for a very very long time. So they just kind of took them for like Christmas and Easter and uh, all manner of things. The major ones they've taken and added their own um, uh, belief system, their own celebratory reasons for celebrating that day. Okay, so they're just trying to take those beliefs and over time those belief systems that had a lot of truth to them, they were either uh, twisted into something demonic, uh, satanic, so that people would not want them and then early on, of course, they did a lot of killing of these people. And then <clears throat> what they did, the people that they didn't kill, they really took the numbers down. And then they just started turning. And these are the bad guys that were tasked with the job of helping to lower humans' vibratory state. So what they did is they, we started at 100% or the people that were involved in this creationary game started 100% and over time, 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 time. Uh, in that process of going from 100% down, then in the downing process, they did have, there was a period of time of like 80, 75, 65, 60%, right? 
And that is where a lot of the original belief systems that were actually very true to get up to the hundred percent were there. But because it was the goal of the uh, human people on this planet to get down to the lower vibrations, they had to start tweaking those belief systems that had been around. So they had to say, oh, they're not valid anymore. That was a part of lowering to the lower 3D game. So it was necessary. <clears throat> but they didn't come in and just wipe them out. They came in and gradually lowered them, gradually lowered them. Now, when they gradually lowered them doing these other things and they started building on the monotheistic religions and the monotheistic religions have taken over a good portion of the planet and then on top of that the beliefs of the other ones that were good those peoples have either, either been, been the numbers have been brought, in brought down to those people or they've been isolated a great deal or they have been uh, everybody's been taught that this these are demonic, satanic uh, belief systems. And that's how it went from not 100% to lower, 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 down to the 1%. And there's always going to be a percentage because there will always be just this spark inside of every human uh, that w is directly uh, attached to source that you cannot get rid of no matter what. It is just that that is, it has to be. It's always been that way, okay? So my point here is that there is a gradual from 100% at the beginning to beings lowering, 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 lowering down to the 1%, okay? Now, and that was done gradually over time in time space. It was very gradual steps so that there, there was a... Uh, kind of subverting of the truth step by step by step by step to get down to the lowest vibrations of lower 3D. Now for all of you that are listening to me, then and I will talk about in the next video my target audience. So be ready for that video, target audience. So now I'm talking to my target audience. My target audience is going to be going from 3D to 5D or out and beyond. Or they're going to go, uh, there's different, you know, they may go from lower 3D to mid 4D, and then they want to stay, so they won't listen to me anymore. So, but the point is that they're going rapidly. My target audience, we're moving rapidly. No matter when you come in to listen to me or when you leave, my target audience are going very rapidly through stages. But what I realized while I was talking to peepers, and I was thinking about meditation. And I realized that people are going about this exactly opposite, which is why there's not a whole lot of interference with the bad guys in things like um, meditation and such. Because you're going from 1%, working your way back up to the 100%, but you are sitting at, let's say that you've done some work and now you're at, at 20%. And you know, you're, you, you know pretty well kind of the beginnings of the game. You know the ABCs of the game. But you want to get up here. And my target audience is very impatient. They want to go fast. Okay? Well, if you are at 50, if you're at 20 on the way to 100% and you go into a meditative state, and it sends you to 75 or 80 percent and you understand that that's what that looks like that's what that feels like that's what you're looking for and then you come back out of the meditative state into 20 percent well you may know what it's like to be at 75 80 percent but you're still at 20 percent you still have to work from 20 up to the 75 and 80 so when you're doing your meditation, guys, understand that that's what you're doing. You're going from 20 to 75, but you're back at 20. And you must go through 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. So you cannot go, you can't um, go from 20% straight to 75. No, you can't. And you're going to struggle with that. And I understood at that moment, I looked around the planet and I understood that there were a lot of people struggling with this. Now, what happened after the, the um, 
the like the Indians, uh, Native Americans, the India Indians, uh, the uh, Aborigin no, the originals in Australia, uh, the originals everywhere. After that, then uh, Gaia made her call, and there was the bomb that bombs dropped Hiroshima, and Gaia made her call, and in comes the first wave. Now, the first wave, what they came in to do, and there aren't a whole lot of first wavers left, uh, not very many first, uh, very surprising to run across the first wa waiver now because it was such a tough gig. Uh, there aren't that many more safe second waivers around. Very, very tough gig just coming in here. But what they came in to do was basically <clears throat> speed it up. So think people that have been in the business for 25 years. To 50 years. Think of those people. When they came in and they put these things in place, which basically said, okay, you do not have to spend a lifetime to get from 1% to say 80% anymore. You don't have to. This is how you can do it. And they added new data that was basically very similar to the originals teachings and uh, think the monk up on the top of the mountain except now this new message that was was that the because uh, Gaia was moving up in frequency that you could do all of this stuff faster than you had ever done it before and this is the way to do it and it came to the United States or the Western world and these new uh, ways of doing things just really talk people through how to do it in instead of it taking 60 years to get from 1 to 80 percent now it, you can do it in five or ten years mm, okay really five to twenty years is really what the the first second waves taught now since 2007 or 2008 to 2012 the new message is that we've moved even further up guys so now instead of it taking 5 to 20 years now it's going to take less than 5 and literally you can learn how to do this in a year but you must still go through the same steps you have to go through the same frequencies as it did whenever it took 80 years 60 80 years you're still going to go through those same frequencies as when the New Agers who have been around, who have taught the techniques that they've taught, that it would take, to, let's just say, 10 to 20 years. Okay? You still have to go through those things. You just do them much faster. So, whereas the ones that have been doing it for 25 to, 30 to 50 years, teaching this stuff, uh, there was a lot more thinking involved. Now, with this newer way... There is far, far less thinking. Now, what I am teaching you to do, and I assume that there are others out there, is that uh, no more thinking. You need to learn to trust the way you feel. And if you trust the way you feel, then you can go very rapidly from 1% to 80% and beyond. If you have to stop and think about this, now there is some thinking involved, absolutely. I'm not going to argue with that. But the faster you learn to trust yourself, follow your instincts, follow the way you feel, which is why I really tell you guys, number one, remember that you are a creator God. And you can use that with thinking. With quantum mechanics out there, with uh, Bruce Lipton and his uh biological proof that we control genes not the other way around we've got some scientific data out there that you can use thinking wise that will prove to you that you are a creator God now of course in um, a lot of these things they don't say creator God like I do but I say it to you a lot because I want you to get comfortable with it most people are very uncomfortable with calling themselves a God so I really say it a lot because I want you to really get used to owning. Uh, for the first time, that word God has, which you don't hear me talk, talk about the all that is as a God. Because it has such strong <clears throat> uh, frequency, vibration, and meaning right now that it is this omnipotent, big, huge thing. Which works now 
because I'm going to tell you to know that you are indeed that awesome. You are that awesome. You are that strong. You are that creative. You have always been and you always will be. You have the, the ability to be everywhere all at once. You can create whatever you want. And that's the first thing that you need to understand. Once you start to understand that, you start to love that. Because how could you not love a God? I wouldn't mess with a God. I wouldn't make him mad at me. So uh, I don't want you to mess with you. So once you understand that fact, Reason it out in your head. Think all you want, but get to the point that you can see you as a God and everyone else as gods. Next step, this is a game. So all it is is a game. So don't take everything so seriously. When you get those two things, then we could start moving from that 1% to 80% and above very, very quickly. And there is not nearly the need to think things out. Because when you understand that you are God, they are gods, there are infinite timelines, infinite aspects of you, then, and it, this is a game, those facts alone kind of solve a lot of problems. So instead of having to think things out, you can feel your way. And when you stop thinking your way out and feeling your way, now you can move very quickly. Okay? So if you're at 1%, you've gone up to 20%, and you're having a bad day and somebody growls at you, you turn around and you're watching. You're on top of it. You know you're a creator God. So you watch this person growl and instead of doing the happier and happier thing, you respond in kind and you just snap back. Snap back. Stomp out to your car, pull out your car, and somebody runs into you. Okay, as a creator God, at 20%, you go, uh-oh. Ooh, ooh, sorry about that. Oops, oops, rewind. Got to do it over. Okay, now you stop from that point and you go, okay, I don't need to think that out now. I don't need to go over the trauma in my mind over and over again. No, don't need to do that. I just know that I'm a creator God. I created it. It's not what I want to create anymore. Done with that. Happier and happier and happier. And in that way, you can slowly move up. And the less you think and the more you go with your instincts, trusting in you, the creator God, the faster you can move up. So everything that has been taught to you, whether it was through the monks that have been taught it over hundreds and hundreds of years, or the new age teachers that are teaching something that is 20 to 50 years old, one or the other Collect all of it, listen to all of it, enjoy all of it, send your love to every God involved, but remember that all of that was just their path, and that's all. That your path is a creator God, knowing that we would not want to repeat ourselves, the all that is would not, that your path is going to be unique to you, and how exciting that is. So you take what I say to you, and you go, oh, well, I'm going to give that a try next time. Score, it worked. I'm adding that to my repertoire of how I'm going to go from Kansas to Alaska. I'm going to go on that road. I agree with her on this one. Next video, I suggest this. This is what I did. You start to go down that road. You go, ah, too bumpy. I love trees. There's not one tree. I can see not one tree for 20 miles. I'm not going on that path. Back, urge, look around. Somebody else, okay, here's a path. Oh, I like the trees. Looks good. I'm going to go down that path. Go down that path. Voila, I love it, add it to the repertoire. Do you understand what I'm saying? That you can listen to all these people, but anybody who's listening to me, I am going to tell you over and over, you are creator God, you are responsible, nobody's going to come and save you. No one is going to come and save you. There were people that came in and changed the way people thought and did things in a big way, big way in a religious, spiritual way. Uh, area over time because they had lots of time everything was really moving slow so you could sit down and you could have this group and you could sit down and every week come together and have these long drawn out discussions about how this works and why this works and yada 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 now they all did it just a slight bit difference that's come there's so many fights there were in the churches that i went to about little things because everybody tweaks it, no matter how rigid that rule book may look, there's still tweaking going on, if for nothing else but in the mind. 
Well, now what you're going to do is you are going to understand that you don't have time. If you're listening to me, you're Zooming somewhere. Your game plan, not mine. You came to me. But you still must go from here to here. So what a lot of people are doing is they're meditating or they're they're getting in a out of body experience or um or really getting into things that are up here so that they're at twenty percent and they're going in meditative state or out of body or lucid dreaming and they're going into like jumping up to sixty five, seventy percent, then they're coming back to twenty and they can't figure out how to go day to day moment to moment because they can't seem now to fit 70 percent with their 20 percent day-to-day living and you can't you can't you can pop back and forth you can go into your meditative state lucid dreaming whatever learn information feel good come back to your 20 percent but because you didn't do it 20 21 22 23 24 you're still coming back to 20 percent okay you know it's there, and that's cool. So do lucid dreaming. Do out of body. Do meditation where you go to that 78% because it gives you self-confidence to continue 21, 22, 23, 24, etc. But know this. You must still go 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, and beyond to get to that 75. But now, since 2007, 2008, if you know you're a creator God, if you know that everybody else is, if you know that this is a story, a play, a game, if you know those things, then you can very quickly go from 21, 22, 23, 24, up to 75. But when you do that, you will be a true 75. And then what happens is you go 20%, and basically nobody ever stays at 20%. What you do is you go... 20%, 20%, have a bad day, 19, 18, 17, oh, I don't want to do that, uh, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, oh, that's great, 24, 23, back down. You see, up, down, up, down, up, down. And then you're going to gradually go more up, 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 till you get to your 70 and 80. Still, even then, you're going to go 70, oh, bad day, 69, 68, 67, and back up. But you cannot just go from your 20 to your 80 in your meditative state, deep meditative state, and come back and have that 80. And I think that's where a lot of people are having trouble. Is that they're really doing really well to go in their meditative state, lucid dreaming, out of body, go on the weekend with uh, the great uh, psychic or channeler or whatever, and get into that 80%. But then they have to come back to their 20% in their day-to-day living, and they struggle. You struggle. So remember that when you go to your meditative state, out of body, loose dreaming, whatever, and you go to that 80%, that is where you're going. You know it exists. As a creator God, you trust yourself. You know that that's where you're going. You know that's where you're going. You could feel the freedom, the happiness, the bliss, the love. You could feel it when you were there. So you do know that your you that that my happier, happier, happier will work has to because you know where you are now, how happy you are right now, and you also know that this is really, really happy up here. So it makes sense that if tomorrow you're a little happier than you are here, then you're gradually gonna go twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, till you get to that eighty percent. Now, as you do this and you step up and let's say you've trusted your creator God, everybody else is, this is the play, and you follow your instincts of a little bit happier, a little bit happier, no matter what. When you get to 30%, okay, now you do lucid dreaming. Now, instead of going to 80, 80%, you're going to 85%. And now, whenever you go to 40%, now your lucid dreaming is 90%. You see how that works? Those extreme states will show you, okay, now this is what the next looks like. So you know, little bit by little bit, happier and happier, you can make your way from your 20% to 100% by using this. You don't need to think anymore. 
this is where you are. You want to be 100%. You know in your lucid dreaming that you are at 80%, so you know what it looks like. Now you come back to your 20%, but you cannot live, go from, come back to this 20% and just live that 80%. Yeah, and that's what's causing people problems. They go, well, I went there in my meditative state. Now I come and I wake up, but it, I, I'm struggling. I'm struggling. To get to the 80%, to get to the 100%, to get to the 30%, you are a creator God. Raise that frequency a little bit happier, a little bit happier, a little bit happier. It only makes sense. That's all the thinking you need is it only makes sense that if 20% is happy, and you've meditated and you've experienced and felt 80%, and it is phenomenally happy, blissful, full of love, then it only makes sense that if you're a little bit happier tomorrow and the day after, eventually you will reach 80%. And the cool thing is that since you know how to do that, as you raise, you get to experience the next higher one, the next higher one, in that meditative state, lucid dreaming, out-of-body experience. Does that make sense? Now, I think that little bit of information should help a lot of people that I see who are stuck. That are doing great at the 20%. They have the experience in some way or another of that 80%. But they come back to the 20% and they go, what's wrong? How, how, I can't get it. I can't have that 80%. I'm surrounded by gods that are in a loving state. The air felt, smelled better. The animals came up to me. But I don't have that when I come out of it. Sadness. Sadness. And that makes them go down worse. All right. Okay, let's have a little bit of discussion about this one. Okay, guys? All right, let me see if I can get this uploaded. And uh, huge hugs to everybody. I love you guys so much. And good job, everybody, making the videos and sharing them. Remember, everybody, make videos and share them. Uh, I do have Spirited NZ and M. Grace, and I think uh, Jeremy is going to help. Maybe G-Man, I'm not sure, uh, with my Facebook page. It's just, guys, when I get on Facebook, uh, the, the energies are all tied to each other. And it's, I really, 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 there's a lot of negative energy on Facebook, and it is seven, there's a lot of people on Facebook. So it's really hard for me to get on Facebook. Uh, here, there's very definitely groups in my channel energetically. It's very separate from everyone. So it's easy for me to do YouTube. But And it's also, I can be done. I can do it whenever I feel ready. I can up the video and I can talk on comments. So it matches and I can protect myself. Facebook is just everywhere and I just really struggle with it. I'm working on it. Uh, but if enough of you guys kind of build that Facebook page or group or I have never been able to do Facebook so I really don't know how it works I've tried to open two three pages and it just was a terrible mistake and uh, really really kicked me to the curb health wise so and attitude wise so yeah if we can build a group that I can come into uh, I absolutely will guys if I and I'll try um, but I really don't want to get sick uh, again like that happened last time so it's it's tricky but I'm up for trying, absolutely. So, uh, I think those guys are going to help. Maybe you can talk to them. They're in the comments. They're wonderful people. All four of them are great. So, you can interact with them. All right, guys. Uh, that's it for me. Huge hugs. Love you so much. And I'll talk to you later.